Welcome to another episode of Chopstick Travel. I'm Luke. And I'm Sabrina. And today is day three of our Turkish street food series. We are in the city of Istanbul, one of the greatest foodie cities in the world. But if you didn't check out the last episode, we took you for the ultimate street food tour of Bursa. We are sitting down for Iskander Kebab, which is the ultimate Bursa food. You can see all that thinly sliced lamb meat on top. And then just when you thought things couldn't get better, they bring out bubbling hot sheep's butter to your table and pour it all over top of the Iskander Kebab. Today we are taking you on a unique street food tour of this city that we love so much, Istanbul. It is bright and early and we are hungry. Let's go. unconventional breakfast today. This is called Torshu Suyu, which is a pickled juice. We had a similar version in Izmir, but this is sort of like the deluxe version. We are at this really cool place right here in Istanbul, serving all kinds of different pickles. The shop is really cool. All the walls are lined with different uh, things pickling. And you can see our pickle juice here, and it's got this really interesting pink color. So there's a couple different pickles inside. But first I'll start by explaining the juice. So it's actually three different parts. The first is like a regular pickle juice. The second is a pickle juice that's been mixed with some spicy chili sauce. And then the third, which gives it the pink color, is a beet juice, so a beet pickle juice. Then inside we actually have three or four different types of pickles. We've got pickled cucumber, we've got pickled beet, we've got pickled carrot and pickled cabbage. So this just looks really interesting. I love how it's pink like that and this shop is just so cool. So let's try it out. Oh, oh yeah. Wow, that's actually quite spicy. That is definitely going to wake me up this morning. That has a really subtle salty flavor. It's a little bit sour, but honestly, it's more spicy than it is sour or salty. And let me go in now for one of the pickles. I'll try this uh, pickled cucumber first. Oh yeah, crunchy, nice little dill flavor. Okay, what's next? I guess a piece of this cabbage. Sort of like a pickled cabbage, almost like kimchi, but let's try it. Oh man, I love the crisp texture. Oh man, this is so good. This will seriously get you ready for the day. Mm. All right, so it's my turn to try some of this stuff inside. I'm gonna try the beet next. And wow, deep, deep color. It looks really good. Mm. Oh my god. As you know, beets have a very earthy flavor, but with the pickle juice, oh, it just brings out an amazing flavor. And of course, there's carrots inside too. And I've never really had pickled carrots before, but I'm sure it's gonna be very tasty. Mm. Not too sour. Still retains that carrot flavor, but very crunchy, very good. Wow, that is one way to start your day. Certainly delicious. What did you think? Oh wow, that is really unique, really delicious. I kind of like that for breakfast. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's surprisingly fitting for breakfast. It really warms your stomach up for the day because it's spicy. So now we are going to head to check out a local market that's near here. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
thing that I noticed that is in season here at the market is apricots, and we just bought five lira worth. And check this out, it's like a massive sack of uh, apricots. I didn't expect that it was gonna be this much, but check this out. These look super, super fresh. We got a whole bag full of them here. This market is seriously rowdy and very, very busy. I'm gonna try one of these out right here. Mm. Oh man, really juicy. Nice and sweet, not actually very sour at all. They sort of have that kind of fuzzy, sort of apricot exterior, really nice. So this market that we are at is a once weekly market on Sundays. It is popular for shopping. There's all kinds of different things to buy, but uh, also lots of fresh vegetables and fruit, of course. Um, there's something special, very magical feeling about a Turkish market. There's just such a diversity of different things to buy, all kinds of friendly people, all kinds of incredible smells. I just love it here. One of my reasons walking through these markets is one of my favorite things to do when filming is because the people are just always so friendly here. They always love the camera and uh, want their picture taken, which is really good for us and it just makes us feel uh, very welcome. We have made it to our lunch restaurant today and this is a place that I've been looking forward to trying for a long time. This place is called Odana Obakshi and they're serving Adana kebab, which is a lamb kebab that has been minced by hand, spiced and then grilled on charcoal. We've got it here, it looks absolutely incredible. You can see this, it's quite a huge kebab and I can just see those natural oils coming out of it and it smells super smoky. On the side here, we've got one piece of bread that's almost like a, it's almost like a chip. It's very, very crispy. Over here, we've got two different types of bread, both of which have been placed on the charcoal. So I'm sure they're infused with that smokiness. This one's a little bit uh, thicker, and then we've got one underneath that's a little bit thinner. Over here, we've got a salad of a couple different things. These are some green peppers that he literally laid on top of the charcoal, not even above it, just directly on top. Underneath, tons of onions. Looks like a little bit of red pepper there, and it's covered in sumac that lemony herb that I love so much. And then over here, we've got some grilled tomatoes and parsley. So this just looks absolutely incredible. I am, my mouth is watering, so I am totally ready to dig into this. I'm gonna start with this bread under here. It's more of a thin bread, almost like the durum so that you get here in uh, Turkey. And I'm gonna grab, oops, a little bit of the Adana kebab. Oh man, it smells ridiculously good. And just check out that bite. Oh yeah, let's try. Wow, that is delicate and smoky and juicy. Wow, it's got a lot more of a delicate texture than I thought. I thought it was gonna be sort of chewy and um, more dense, but it's really fall apart in your mouth. And it's a little bit spicy too. I can feel that spice building. Well, let's chase that down with some of this sumac onions and maybe I'll grab a tomato too, some of these onions and I'll just mix it all together here. Grab some kebab and just check out how juicy that is. It's literally oozing with juice, look at all that. Oh man, okay, let's get some tomato, some onions, and some kebab. Let's try that. That is so ridiculously good. You can taste that sumac. It gives it sort of a lemony freshness. And then 
It is a lot spicier than I thought it was going to be. There's definitely some chili powder in that kebab mixture, and everything goes so well together. Everything's just infused with that charcoal smokiness. I gotta go for one more bite. I'm gonna go for this bread this time. This is just too good, guys. Wow. Such a simple thing, just grilled meat, and it just seriously tastes otherworldly. Oh man, yes. So some local saw us eating and they just gave us a really good tip. They said to take this flatbread and actually put it on top of the meat and close it up so that it stays warm. So you can kind of leave it underneath there until you're ready to eat it again. So Istanbul is a really good place to come and try different foods from around Turkey. And this is actually from the city of Adana. And I'm gonna load myself up a bite here with these onions. And these onions must be sprinkled in lemon juice because they are extremely sour and extremely juicy and just full of flavor. Mm. You have to come here and try this. This is delicious. That was an insanely good kebab. Kebabs here in Turkey come in all shapes and forms and flavors. And I would have to say that that's probably the best one I've ever had. It was just out of this world, delicious, super juicy and smoky, really friendly owners too. So it is definitely dessert time now. For dessert, we are having the classic dandurma, which is Turkish ice cream. We're at this really cool shop called Damla. This is like an old school Turkish ice cream shop. And uh, this is seriously underrated. I know everyone talks about Italian gelato, but uh, seriously, Turkish ice cream, you've got to try it. So you can see we've got three different flavors. We've got blackberry, chocolate, and then sade, which is just like plain, but it's really like vanilla, I think. And it's starting to drip off. And of course, we also got chocolate uh, on the top, chocolate syrup. So let me try it here. Mm. Oh man, so good. I love that blackberry. And it's got this really unique texture, which makes Turkish ice cream different than other ice creams. They use a type of plant resin to give it this really kind of chewiness. It's very unique and very delicious. Mm. Wow. So actually I just found some chocolate chips inside the chocolate ice cream. Makes it even better, makes it more chocolatey. I think the blackberry is a must try here. It's really delicious. So that was very delicious traditional Turkish ice cream and it may not be as entertaining to watch them scoop it up here at this traditional restaurant as it may be down in kind of the tourist center but it is delicious and it is well worth the money. So right now we're gonna get on a bus and we're gonna go all the way to the other side of Istanbul and we are gonna hop on a cruise on the Bosphorus. So let's go. So we've come to get onto our boat. This is an area called Eminanu, and we are on a boat that is by the company Turyol. So we paid 20 lira per person. I think it's a 90 minute cruise of the Bosphorus, just a round trip. We're gonna take in the views, and uh, I'm pretty excited to check this out. First cruise, Sabrina. That was quite relaxing and I think it was the perfect amount of time. It was 90 minutes 
pretty decently priced for what it is and it was very beautiful all the sights on the boat oh yeah and what are we doing for dinner we are getting a turkish classic here in istanbul we're getting a fish sandwich right over here. so exactly where you get off and on the boat there are all of these little floating restaurants behind me they all are serving the same thing that's Balik Ekmek, which is a fish sandwich. It is really crazy busy down here, but these restaurants are super cool. They're a little bit touristy. I don't know if the food's gonna be any good, but uh, really cool to see the, the restaurant actually on a boat. Sitting down at our last restaurant for the day, we have the Balik Ekmek, which is the fish sandwich. And these restaurants are super cool. There's three of them right on the other side of the Galata Bridge, and they're all built on a boat. So you can kind of see maybe behind me here, uh, they're actually floating. So these guys are serious chefs. They have to work in some adverse conditions. And this is quite a touristy spot, so I don't know if this is gonna be any good. As you can see here, we've got, um, it's like a huge piece of bread, a massive half a loaf of bread. There's an onion and lettuce mixture, and then underneath that grilled fish, which I believe looks to be mackerel. There's also some uh, lemon juice on here, uh, on the table, so I'm gonna definitely load quite a bit of that into there. And also there's some salt. I might go for a little bit of salt. And yeah, let's try this, it. Actually, that's not very good at all. It's like 90% bread. There's a very small piece of fish in there. The fish is completely full of bones and it's a really fishy flavor. Maybe not so fresh. Um, I can't really taste the onions or um, the lettuce. And at 15 lira, it's not very good of a deal. It's basically just a massive piece of bread. I'm gonna put some extra lemon juice on top. And uh, yeah, that's a little bit disappointing. All right, so it's my turn to try it. And uh, I can actually see a lot of bones sticking out right at the surface, but give it a shot. Wow. There's a lot of salt in there. <laughs> yeah, like Luke said, it's quite fishy, but um, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best to let the seagulls have this one. Maybe we'll release it to the seagulls. Something that's a little disappointing to see is that all three of these restaurants are completely packed out with mainly tourists and uh, you can probably walk one, two minutes down the street and get uh, something else uh, that's a lot better for a better price and not be uh, hassled by all these people trying to sell you stuff. To my surprise, actually right outside of the uh, fish sandwich restaurant, they're selling the Torshu Soyu, the uh, pickle juice, but uh, we already had some today, so we're good on that. I think I'd say that this place is a little bit more of a gimmick than a true uh, Turkish restaurant. something for dinner tonight yeah um, didn't really want to finish that sandwich but we ate a lot all that we could I think basically I, have a couple bones in my throat. I know <laughs> literally my bite that I took was just like bones sticking out like this <laughs> so all right guys that's going to be it for today's episode we had an amazing day of exploring and eating here in Istanbul this is one of our favorite places in the whole world and it's a great foodie city there's so much to eat and explore we're going to be making a few more episodes here in Istanbul for you exploring some really unique places and some restaurants that you've never heard of and tasting some delicious food so make sure if you haven't already to subscribe and hit the bell icon because if you don't you won't be notified when we post a video. Did you have a good day? I had an awesome day. Istanbul is a wonderful city. Turkey is a wonderful country full of great food and lots of things to do and see. Yeah, if you didn't check out our previous episodes from Turkey, we made a series in Istanbul last winter, so you can check that out, but we also made a video in 
the city of Izmir and the city of Bursa here in Turkey. Um, check those out. They'll probably pop up on the screen here in a little bit somewhere. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below what you thought looked the most delicious today and we will see you from Istanbul again very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.